June. It is a project that has raised a lot of discussion. A potential casino being built in New Haven. 21 Alive reporter Ali Butts heard people's concerns tonight. Full House Resorts held a public hearing Monday night to share their plans for the possible casino. And opinions were strong with some worried residents saying this may change the town of New Haven for the worst. The possibility of a casino in New Haven has the small town in debate. If you were inside at all tonight, you know emotions get really high because some people think that their way is the only way. The casino is part of Full House Resorts, who are working to relocate their Rising Star Casino from Ohio County. The casino would be built off 469 on Harper and South Doyle Road. Stacy McDaniel has lived in New Haven her whole life and believes this is something the town needs. I actually think it's a good idea. I do. I think the people that have the concerns, they're valid for those people. Um, but I think people that they're concerned about with addiction and mental health and things of that nature, um, they need to look at said person. However, others believe this casino could change the small town's culture. Gretchen Wirtz is concerned it will add stress to families. I'm concerned about the impact a casino would have on families. I'm just, uh, the love of money can really be a tempting thing for families. And I just look at gambling as another addictive uh, pastime. McDaniel believes people who want to keep the small town feel also want improvements. Improvements that are impossible without change. You know, you can't have a small knit community and want all the amenities that you're asking for. It doesn't work that way. But Wirt says there are things more important than money. The state or people wanted money. And so they said, well, hey, let's have this here in our community. And I haven't seen a benefit overall. I think they've done every bit of what they can do. Right now from the casino to compromise and to make sure that things go well here in New Haven. No decisions were made tonight and leaders at Full House Resorts emphasize that if the project moves forward, it will be privately funded. Reporting in studio, Allie Butts, 21 Alive News.